Hi, I'm Mark Turner, president of the Gilroy Chamber of Commerce, and we are setting up these uh, discussions with our local elected officials uh, due to the fact that we were unable to schedule our legislative summit this year. And so today we have John Varela with us. He is the director of uh, Valley Water for District 1. I just want to read a little bit about John and give you some of his background and then also introduce Rachel. Uh, right now, John Varela was uh, uh, appointed to the Santa Clara Valley Water District Board of Directors in 2015. He was elected again, uh, or elected in 2016 and re-elected in 2018. John serves on various committees such as the Homeless Encampment and Water Storage Exploratory Ad Hoc Committee. Wow, that's quite a, quite a committee. The Agricultural Water Advisory Committee, the Board Policy and Planning Committee, and the Joint Water Committees from Morgan Hill, Gilroy, and San Felipe Division Reach One. Also with us is Rachel Gibson, and she is the Director of Government Relations for Valley Water. John and Rachel, welcome. Appreciate you being here. John, any opening comments you'd like to make? Thank you, Mark. I appreciate this opportunity to speak to the community. And on, be on behalf of Valley Water, I just want to say that, you know, we're experiencing some extraordinary times today. And all of us are doing the best to shelter in place, and hopefully the community is doing so. Uh, I have my mask, but I didn't think it'd be appropriate to wear it under these conditions. <laughs> so I'm just saying to the public is be safe, be strong, and be smart. And continue to practice shelter in place while we go through this extraordinary time that we are all experiencing together. So those are my opening comments to you. And thank you for this opportunity. Well, thank you, John. And uh, we appreciate again that you would be with us. And Rachel, thank you for joining us as well. Uh, John, let's just jump right into it. The question I have is how has the COVID-19 crisis <clears throat> affected Valley Water's ability to manage the county's water efforts? Well, that's a good way to start. So let me start off by saying that Valley Water is strongly committed to maintaining a high level of service as our community responds to COVID-19. During these unprecedented times, Valley Water is responding to the impacts of COVID-19 pandemic as is following all directives from our public health officials. As you know, under the state and county shelter in place order, Valley Water is considered critical and essential as an organization and water provider. Our entire agency has stepped up to the crisis and will ensure that your water is safe and as we operate our critical infrastructure around the clock. Further, we will continue to provide a reliable supply of safe, clean drinking water to the residents and businesses of Santa Clara County. I cannot emphasize that enough. Thank you, John. And I, I see and hear a lot of comments about the safety of our drinking water at a time like this. Can you comment on, on that? Of course. So COVID-19 virus is not impacting the safety of your drinking water or our ability to supply water in Santa Clara County. And COVID-19 has not been detected in any of our drinking water and any of our water supplies. Valley Water is responsible for ensuring that the treated water provided to our retail agencies is of the highest possible quality, meeting or exceeding all federal and state drinking water standards. Current operations remain normal and we continue to meet and exceed all applicable water quality regulatory standards. However, homeowners that receive their water from a public water utility, like city or water company, may contact their provider to learn more about treatments being used. These utilities treat and test the water to ensure that there are no pathogens before the water reaches your tap. Homeowners with private wells who are concerned about pathogens, pathogens such as viruses in drinking water may consider approaches that remove bacteria, viruses, and other pathogens, including uh, certified home treatment devices. And John, how, how is Valley Water preparing for a future crisis such as a pandemic, a natural disaster, or otherwise? That's a good question, sir. Valley Water has a pandemic and infectious disease plan that is being utilized for the current COVID-19 pandemic. The plan will be our guide, the response to future public health emergencies. We continue to build our business continuity program, which includes 
businesses, impact analysis, identification of essential functions, as well as recovery plans. We address all emergencies, disasters, preparedness with an all hazards perspective. Valley Water has multiple response plans. And so saying, if I could turn this for you. When it comes to water utility functions, as well as emergency action plans for flooding and dam emergencies. Additionally, Valley Water also maintains a district-wide emergency operations plan. Emergency Operations Center Responder Handbook, Hazard Mitigation Plan, and implements an annual training and exercise program. Finally, to this point, we have established an emergency steering committee to set priorities and align emergency related efforts throughout the district. As established in crisis teams for initial response to different types of scenarios, such as those that uh, are stem from flooding, water outages, and of course, public health emergencies. Well, thank you, John. That kind of wraps up our first section here, and we're going to move into our uh, next section here in just one brief moment. Thank you. <laughs> 